Good morning, Krakow. And what a good morning it is because people had this morning free. We gave them the whole morning free, so they came down late for breakfast. And now they're heading out to see whatever they want to see and have lunch wherever they want to eat. And we're leaving the Holiday Inn right now to go to Market Square. Okay, gang, where are you going this morning? The Dominican Church of Holy Trinity. We're Dominican Church of, Pol of what? Holy Trinity. Very the same highest in the very. Yeah. Well, good. Everybody's got a free morning to go do what they want to do. St. Hyacinth was the first alumni of the school that eventually morphed into the Angelicum in the 20th century. Wow, you're going to his tomb? <laughs> yes. Very cool. Perfect. Have fun. So we're going to pray for your conversion. I appreciate it. <laughs> See you later. So, welcome to Market Square. This has been here since the 13th century, one of the largest squares in Europe. This is where everybody's scattering today. Here is the big cathedral. We're gonna hear the trumpeter who blows his trumpet every hour on the hour here at the cathedral. And look at the birds coming in. So this is where people have free time today until one o'clock. Here's the square I've been talking to you about, and here's the Cathedral of St. Mary's, where we're at right now. We were just inside the Cathedral of St. Mary's and now we're waiting here for the highest tower here for the trumpet player to come out. He does it in all four directions, every hour on the hour. The first recorded time they know that he did it was 1392 and it is the Polish national anthem. So we're waiting here and soon we will hear him and see him play the trumpet right from there. It's universally agreed among our pilgrims that Poland is a very clean country.
Because it's so warm here, they have these misters for people to cool off. Like this little guy is gonna get cooled off in the mister. It's still a bit too early for lunch, but the choice is here for everybody who are all going out for lunch on their own so they can experiment and explore with all of these wonderful cafes and menus. Every one of them is spectacular. Here's just a selection, but all around, look at how big this courtyard is. It's all the way around. This is in the center, the market. And then all the way around on the other side here, it's one of the largest, if not the largest in all of Europe. You never know who you're gonna bump into when you're walking around the uh, market square here today. Hello, Tom Govern, one of our loyal pilgrims and good, good friend. How are you? I'm Thank doing you. good. Thank you. Out getting a movie of what everybody's doing this morning, so it's nice to catch you. I'm going to go buy something for my daughter-in-law. <laughs> Very good. Have fun, Tom. Thank you, Steve. We're going into the market now. Oh, here comes the security police. Always good to see them here. Here, you can get anything you want, Polish. Look at this place. This has been here since the 13th century. Look at, I got some of these for our kids. These are really nice lamb's wool. The grandkids love laying on them when they watch movies and taking naps. All the grandkids have those. around a market like this you never know who you're gonna bump into <laughs> what are you yeah, folks doing <laughs> no what are you folks for doing? Shopping for gifts for our daughters good and deal isn't it nice having a morning free oh it's beautiful having a morning free <laughs> from Ypsilanti my own hometown there you go. <laughs> have fun There's the famous and ancient clock tower of Krakow Square. And here's where we're gonna eat dinner tonight. Where's Niek? Oldest restaurant in Poland and probably the best. Only the best for our groups. So we're gonna be having dinner here tonight after mass. So we'll just take a peek. This is just a five minute walk to our hotel. stays in Poland. <laughs> Our tour of the salt mine takes us over 400 feet underground. As you can see down through these shafts and stairs, it's a two mile tour way in the belly of the earth. You can see the steps will be going on. This is visited by over 1 million people a year with four chapels built here for mass and all kinds of statues, corridors, amazing place.
What are you touching, Janet? I'm touching salt that leaves a grit on your fingers. There are four chapels in this mine. All miners who prayed before they started working and when they finished work because Oh, I'm okay with ups or downs. It doesn't matter. It was just that was a Wait, no, go ahead. I'll get you in it. We're heading down the stairs into this huge underground church made of salt. People have come around the corner. They just could not believe what they were seeing. There's the altar way up there. But this is all underground salt church. Oh, boy, I'm okay with ups or downs. It doesn't matter. It was just that that was a matter. We're now over 426 feet below sea level. And we're in this huge chamber, which they've turned into shops and bathrooms. And we're going to go up in an elevator soon. But Through Krakow to Mass. Lots of means of transportation around here, including scooters everywhere. Hello everyone, oh. Father Kirk, good to see you. And there's Andrew again, Ave Maria Radio. Hello everyone. Look at all these great folks. There's Sally Cresta. Look at all these great folks. Hello Walter. Hello. Behaving yourself. <laughs> Keep on and coming. Hello, everybody. You're in the movies now. Watch video number two for our farewell dinner and comments and compliments about the trip. You might be interested to see what people thought of Poland. <laughs>